A new plugin came out for Character Creator, called Headshot 2. I tried making something with a head scan of myself. I believe this scan was taken in 2020, using Meshroom. This was the scan that was used to make the Blend Dreams profile picture, actually. I cleaned up the scan a little, then I imported it into Character Creator 4. But for some reason, FBX did not work, so I exported an OBJ version. That worked fine. I aligned the points. And I should mention at this point that I have not watched a single tutorial about this. I was just guessing my way through it, but it was intuitive enough that it worked. I went through the steps and at first I found the results a little horrifying, I'm not gonna lie. It felt like someone was wearing my skin on their face. Then I threw some beard on it and I suddenly started to look majestic. I mentioned that this skin was from 2020. A lot happened since then, so I used some skin effects to age myself. The final result wasn't perfect. But, again, I didn't watch any tutorials about it. If I knew what I was doing, I probably could have done a better job. But although the result wasn't perfect, it was great to have a rig character that looks like me this fast. Then I tried a sculpted character, which worked better. The really exciting thing is, you can take any head from anywhere. Style it however you want, then using eye clone and motion light, animate their face with your own face. Hello, this is Elon Ma. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for that. And this animation took 15 minutes to create. Here's a ripped Elon Musk. Add another 5 minutes and I was done animating the face. You can check out Headshot 2. There is a free trial for it. Test it out and see how you like it. Currently, I am working on an animation using Character Creator, iClone and Blender. Anyway, this was a quick video letting you know about this new tool that just came out. See you in the next one. I hope. One quick tip is that after you import a character, if you're rendering an animation for it, you have to uncheck auto smooth for all of its parts or you will get this glitchy animation. Fastest way to do this is select their armature, right click, select hierarchy or press E. It's gonna select the whole hierarchy. Then shift click on a mesh and then go into object properties, uncheck auto smooth while also holding alt. This is gonna uncheck auto smooth for everything that is selected.